Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be going over Python imports um, and essentially what they do and how they work. Um, first off, I'd, let, I'd like to let you guys know that I have changed the font if it looks weird to you guys. Um, I changed it from Times New Roman to uh, Courier, 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 that's how you say it, um, because someone on uh, Google Plus in the Python community, Seth Moon, said that I should probably use a uh, monospace font um, to make it easier for people to read. If uh, this isn't a good change and you guys want it to be Times New Roman, let me know. I'll change it back. No problem. I don't really care either way. Anyways, so what is the import in Python? Well, it's basically just a statement that starts with import and then the name of a file. Now, this isn't usually too big of a deal, and it's something that people will put mm, maybe three to four of them in a big uh, Python script, a single Python script. Uh, and if you start reading someone else's code, you'll probably see them. So it's important that you know what they are. So there are built-in modules or built-in scripts that you can import freely um, with any installation of Python. One of the more like basic ones is string. So we can say import string. So the syntax for an import statement is just import and then the name of the uh, Python script and the library. If you say import string, what that does is actually go into your Python installation folder. If you're on Windows, it's under uh, C, Python 3.3, and then lib. If it's on Linux, I'm not sure where it is, even though I use Linux a lot. Um, I usually don't have to deal with anything like that on Linux, but... Uh, if you uh, need to, I'm sure it's probably like in your slash bin folder or something like that, slash user bin. And OSX, well, I don't know, I don't use a Mac. So we say import string, and what that does is just import all the code from that Python file into this uh, script that we're doing now. It essentially just takes all their code, press, it presses uh, Control-C and copies it, Control-V, paste, and bam, all the code's in there. Uh, but it just doesn't one line so that you don't have to sit through there and uh, type it or, you know, uh, s copy and paste it yourself. So it makes your code more readable and it still allows you to have all the functionality that you would want. Uh, and to prove this, you can do something like dir string. And it'll give you all the uh, classes and variables that are available in the string module. Um, a module is basically just a script that you import. That's what it is and they can contain classes and functions and variables and other things like that that you would use in your own Python uh, scripts. For example, uh, ASCII lowercase, or let's do ASCII letters, is a variable. It's a list of all the ASCII characters um, in the English language. So if we say print ASCII letters, Oh, my bad. <laughs> if we do print string dot ASCII letters, saying that we actually access the strings module, that's actually why I was saying this, then we'll see all the ASCII characters printed out. Now, this does not uh, include numbers or punctuation because this is letters. And so this allows you to, you know, get a feel with your module and then you can use them in other larger programs without having to reprogram everything yourself. As long as you remember to use the module's name in front of the variable, you'll be fine. And the reason that that um, works in that way is so that you don't get confused with your own module that also happens to have ASCII letters in it, but in, instead of just containing A through Z, lowercase n, uppercase, you have something like uh, all the ASCII letters and punctuation, but it's still the same variable, you would access them through the module's name, which hopefully isn't also a string, because then you know you'll have issues. Now there's one more thing with, uh, two more things with Python imports. You can actually import uh, singular variables and functions and classes from a module by saying from string import uh, hex digits. But not only can we do that, 
we can also say from string import oct digits as forks. Now, this will allow us to refer to oct digits as forks and not as oct digits. So now if we say, for example, um, oct digits, or my bad, if we say forks, we get all the octal digits. If we say hex digits, we get all the hex digits without having to say string dot hex digits because we said only import hex digits so it imports that as a local variable. Pretty simple things, uh, not much to them even though I did make this video much longer than it needed to be like always. Uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments or PM me. If you like the video, like it. If you really want to help out, favorite it or share it. That stuff helps tremendously. And um, something new, if you guys have a Google Plus account, there is a Google Plus community called uh, Python, which I have uh, recently started to post all my videos on there. So if you want to be updated through there rather than YouTube, because let's say you don't go on YouTube much, uh, feel free to join that community, and uh, I'll be updating you guys through that by... Uh, posting the videos and sharing them on there myself. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.